Hello, dear friends and fellow truth explorers. It's fantastic to have you back for the fourth installment of our enlightening and faith-centric series. Today, we've arrived at a crucial milestone of this expedition. We're about to dive deep into an understanding of how God shapes and steers our plans, drawing upon the ever-relevant wisdom encapsulated in Proverbs 16, 3. In this spiritual exploration, we're not solitary voyagers. We are a tribe, a fraternity bound by our mutual pursuit of knowledge and our hunger for enlightenment. We're fellow travelers, aiding each other in deciphering the complex and often enigmatic trail of faith. As we indulge in this significant discourse today, let's bear in mind that every single one of our viewpoints and insights adds to the multifaceted richness of this exploration. Before we ignite the engines of our dialogue and start unraveling the profundities of Proverbs 16, 3, I encourage you to stay connected with this faith-focused community. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. In subscribing, you're joining us actively in this collective voyage. Are you set to delve into the profound wisdom of Proverbs 16, 3, and uncover the divine role God plays in guiding our lives? Then let's dive in, head first. What does it truly signify when the Bible boldly proclaims He will establish your plans? It's a potent declaration that encourages us to see life through a refreshed lens. Think of it this way. If you were embarking on a vast oceanic voyage, wouldn't you entrust the navigation to an adept captain with comprehensive knowledge of marine charts and a deep-seated concern for your safety? This principle mirrors our journey through life. The Bible is extending an invitation for us to hand over control of our life's voyage to the ultimate skipper, God. As we delve into the heart of this concept, let's visualize our lives as a magnificent journey. We chart our course based on our perspectives, inspirations, dreams, and ambitions. We architect plans using the tools of our experiences and limited knowledge. But just as a sea captain's perspective is sharpened by comprehensive marine charts and cutting-edge navigation technology, so too does our life journey gain from being guided by the Supreme Navigator, possessing a complete understanding of our life's map. God, the divine designer of our life's journey, comprehends the vast topography of our existence like no one else. He knows the terrain, the obstacles, the unexpected bends and curves. He sees not just the path we tread now, but all possible routes that stretch out in every direction. When the Bible says He will establish your plans, it's urging us to yield control of our life steering wheel to God, who can observe the entire map of our existence with unerring clarity. And this isn't a detached guide. This is a navigator profoundly invested in our voyage, deeply concerned about each choice we make, every hurdle we encounter, every triumph we celebrate. He values the destination, but he also cherishes the journey, the lessons we imbibe, the growth we undergo, and the love we radiate. Placing our trust in him to establish our plans means permitting his divine wisdom and boundless love to steer us across the sea of life. By embracing this truth, we're not abdicating our part in the journey. Instead, we engage more effectively, illuminated by divine guidance and shielded by his deep affection for us. This synergistic relationship between us and God, guiding our life's journey, embodied in the statement He will establish your plans, manifests as a sublime dance of faith, surrender, wisdom, and love. Life is a canvas of endless twists and turns. Even when we meticulously plot our course, drafting our most thorough plans, life has a unique way of throwing curveballs our way. This simple fact acknowledges an elemental truth we've all faced at one point or another, the unpredictability of life. Yet, here's where we stumble upon an awe-inspiring paradox. God leverages these moments to refine us, educate us, and shepherd us towards a path in harmony with His divine design. Despite life's surprising detours, unforeseen hurdles, and unexpected disruptions, these events are not arbitrary anomalies. Instead, they serve as powerful instruments wielded by God to sculpt us, to refine our essence, much like an artisan employs fire and hammer to craft raw metal into a masterpiece. Envision this. You're treading your chosen path, your itinerary carefully planned, and out of the blue, a curveball, an unexpected challenge, surfaces. 
It could be a setback, a diversion, or an unforeseen impediment. It might seem natural to view this as an interruption in your carefully choreographed journey. But what if we reframe these curveballs not as interruptions, but as divine recalibrations, essential course corrections guiding us towards a path more attuned with God's grand blueprint? Each unexpected twist, each surprising turn then transforms into a moment of refinement, a catalyst that burns away our impurities, reveals our latent strengths, and molds us into an improved version of ourselves. It serves as a lesson in resilience, adaptability, faith, and the subtle art of surrender. It's a poignant reminder that we are not solitary voyagers, but we have a divine guide, using every curve and bend to steer us closer to his divine plan. While our earthly perception may construe curveballs as stumbling blocks, our spiritual insight can discern them as stepping stones, guiding us along a path that is harmonious with God's divine plan. These unexpected moments are opportunities for us to grow, to mature, to step into the divine purpose that God has meticulously crafted for us. And as we adopt this transformative perspective, we find ourselves navigating life's journey with heightened faith, deepened resilience, and unwavering hope. Faith serves as the driving force, the powertrain for our spiritual growth, a catalyst for revolutionary transformation. When we contemplate an engine, we picture a dynamic machine that converts energy into momentum, propelling a vehicle onward. It's an intricate process that calls for regular tuning and consistent fuel for optimal operation. Likewise, faith acts as this dynamic engine within us. It's our internal dynamo that transforms spiritual energy into measurable development and progression. It fuels our forward motion on the spiritual path, steering transformative change and leading us towards our divine destiny. But remember, faith isn't a static entity. It's vibrant, evolving, maturing, just like an engine requires steady fuel and upkeep for peak performance. As we enrich our faith, as we nurture it with spiritual sustenance, it becomes more potent, more robust, propelling us further along our spiritual path. It's through this nurturing process that we find ourselves aligning more intricately with God's divine plan. Now, picture this idea. It's akin to a constellation subtly modifying its celestial configuration to reflect a divine blueprint. Just as a constellation, a celestial grouping of stars gradually adjusts its configuration over time, our lives too undergo a gentle transformation under the guiding beacon of faith. This transformation might be subtle, often unseen by the human gaze, but it's as profound and monumental as the fluctuating constellations in the celestial infinity. These transformations echo a divine blueprint, a grand plan orchestrated by the divine architect. This divine blueprint encapsulates God's unique design for our lives, His ideal plan tailored for each of us. Hence, our faith journey becomes an ever-evolving process of aligning our lives to mirror these divine intentions. We metamorphose into spiritual constellations, our lives subtly shifting, transforming, and harmonizing with God's grand scheme. In essence, the more we cultivate our faith, the closer we synchronize with God's divine plan. This alignment isn't a sudden, drastic shift, but a gentle, gradual transformation, a quiet evolution of our hearts, minds, and spirits to reflect the divine blueprint that our Creator has skillfully crafted for each of us. And within this transformative journey, we discover our lives glowing with the intense radiance of divine alignment and spiritual evolution. Picture this, a friend of mine, let's call him John, harbored a powerful dream. He yearned to be a doctor. Every compelling tale begins with a central character, and in our narrative, we encounter John. John is someone you might recognize, brimming with ambitions, dreams, and the burning desire to make a significant impact. He harbored a powerful dream of becoming a doctor, a noble profession built on the foundations of healing and serving others. But the universe, it seemed, had other plans. Faced with repeated rejections from medical schools, John found himself seeking guidance from a higher power, God. Life's unpredictability often tests our resolve, throws curveballs, posing challenges that make us question the path we've chosen. John's story wasn't any different. 
Despite his fervent aspiration and relentless pursuit to become a doctor, he faced roadblocks. His applications to medical schools met with rejection. But rather than crumbling under the weight of despair or surrendering his dream, John sought direction from the ultimate life coach, God. What happened next? John discovered a deep-seated passion for teaching, for nurturing the doctors of tomorrow. All this time, God was steering his ship. In his search for divine guidance, an unforeseen passion surfaced in John, the passion for teaching. It was a pathway he hadn't considered before, but it resonated with his spirit. He was drawn towards the idea of shaping and inspiring the doctors of tomorrow, sharing his wisdom and passion with them, and impacting their lives and consequently, the lives of countless others these future doctors would touch. This unexpected twist in his journey wasn't a detour but a revelation of God's grand plan for him. What initially seemed like a setback, a closed door, turned out to be an entrance to a novel, fulfilling path that harmonized with John's inherent passion and God's divine blueprint. It perfectly illustrated Proverbs 16, 3 in motion, commit to the Lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans. Indeed, God was masterminding John's journey all along. While the path initially seemed shrouded in uncertainty, with each step John took in faith, God subtly guided him, steering him towards a destiny that was not only gratifying but also aligned with his divine plan. By narrating John's tale, we underscore a profound truth. While we may plot our course, it's God who steers our voyage. We're reminded to remain open to the unexpected twists and turns in our life's journey, for they often guide us to the path God has charted for us. A path that not only satisfies our dreams but also furthers His divine purpose. God's involvement injects a profound, deeper resonance into our aspirations. Inviting God into our planning process is akin to inviting an extraordinary architect into our life's blueprint. He doesn't merely bestow his divine wisdom and perspective. He instills our goals with a profound sense of purpose, a depth that extends beyond our worldly ambitions. Our goals metamorphose into more than just personal milestones. They become conduits for his divine will to manifest, leading us towards an elevated sense of purpose and fulfillment. Embarking on a journey with one idea in mind, yet, as we relinquish control to him, we may find our path redefined. As we venture into the realm of our dreams and plans, they're often influenced by our experiences, our worldviews, and our finite understanding. However, the moment we surrender control to God, a miraculous transformation occurs. Equipped with His boundless vision and wisdom, He begins to subtly navigate us, sometimes even redirecting our course. This redirection may diverge from our original intent but it invariably guides us towards a destination more rewarding and fulfilling than we could have ever envisaged. This transformational journey is always for our betterment and serves a purpose larger than we can perceive. From our limited human vantage point, the intricacies of God's guidance may sometimes evade our understanding. We may encounter hurdles, challenges, and course alterations that might initially seem daunting. But it's critical to remember that these modifications on our journey are divine orchestrations. They're stepping stones guiding us towards the realization of a grand design that not only amplifies our well-being, but also fulfills a divine purpose that eclipses our wildest imagination. By surrendering and aligning our ambitions with God's will, we're not just striving towards personal objectives. We're becoming an integral part of a divine narrative that's much larger than ourselves. This journey invites us to trust in His wisdom, welcome His guidance, and find solace in the knowledge that our lives are being guided by the One who has the ultimate panoramic view, who knows our journey's end from the start, and who ceaselessly works towards our ultimate benefit. Our role is to dream, to strategize, to strive tirelessly, but above all, to entrust our paths to the Lord. These words encapsulate our proactive role in our spiritual journey. We are beckoned to dream audaciously, to unlock the boundless potential God has sown within us. We are urged to strategize thoughtfully, wielding the divine wisdom bestowed upon us. We're invited to strive with all our might, pouring our best effort, our time, our vitality, and our fervor into the goals we've established. 
Yet paramount to all, we're exhorted to entrust our past to the Lord, consciously inviting him into our pursuits, surrendering our reins and seeking his counsel at every juncture. And what is God's role? He will cement our plans, guide our journey, and align our aspirations with his divine intents. This celestial partnership empowers us to steer our lives under God's masterful guidance. When we commit our paths to him, he, in reciprocation, pledges to cement our plans. He doesn't merely endorse our blueprints, rather, he refines, enhances, and realigns our strategies in accordance with his divine insight and vision. He guides our journey, navigating us through life's labyrinth, ensuring we don't stray from our course. More importantly, he synchronizes our aspirations with his divine intents, making certain that our ambitions serve a purpose beyond mere personal accomplishment, one that contributes to his grand design. Thus, as we continue to dream grandly and establish our goals, let's do so with open hearts, surrendering our strategies to him. As we cultivate our dreams and establish lofty goals, we're motivated to approach this process with an ethos of open-hearted surrender. This isn't about forfeiting our aspirations or ambitions, but about infusing them with a divine touch, letting God's wisdom and counsel shape and refine them. It's about relinquishing our ego-driven desires, acknowledging that our most meticulously laid plans may fall short without God's guidance. As we draw to a close, let's retain this powerful truth until our next interaction. Remain blessed, continue to seek God's wisdom, delve into his word, and persist in your spiritual growth. A path of faith is a lifelong odyssey, one that involves continuous learning, evolution, and deepening of our bond with the Creator. As we advance on this journey, each step we take under God's guidance propels us closer to realizing the divine purpose he has ordained for each one of us. Until next time, God bless.